Kingdom greetings and blessings to all of you. This is Kevin Bailey with Touch of the Master Healing Ministries International. Thank you so much for joining in today. And greetings to all of YouTube and my subscribers all over the world, whatever time you're in, morning, afternoon, or evening. Friends, greetings, and God bless you. All right, so as you are coming in today, we're running just a little bit behind. As you are coming in today, please share this uh, today. Share and like as you are coming in. Those at YouTube, please share this and like it and subscribe. Subscribe, Amen. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, a topic that many do not want to talk about within the church, which is a major problem today. Amen. Let me greet some of you. Amen. As you are coming in, and we're going to go right into this. Deliverance from witchcraft, satanic rituals, and curses. A amen. And covenants, enchantments, we're going to talk about it today and then be about it. It's deliverance time. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Kimmy. God bless you. Good morning, uh, Sister Kathy. God bless you. Let me greet some of you quickly, and then we're going to dive right into this. Amen. The devil will always try to make uh, witchcraft uh, look uh, super uh, silly or refer to as superstition and things of that nature. But the devil is a liar. Some need the deliverance uh, from it today. Some need the deliverance. Oh, I know. Yeah, this is not a popular topic. And the sad reality is that some who are professing believers are dabbling in witchcraft. Even leaders, people of God. They say that they are leaders and people of God. Yeah, I know. I'm going to lose some of you today. Uh, as I talk about this topic, amen, amen, deliverance from witchcraft, satanic rituals, enchantments, curses, God wants to set the body of Christ free, amen, and even if it's in your bloodline, you need the deliverance from it, maybe some of you have renounced it, but you haven't really got the deliverance, it is time for you to get the freedom today, amen, amen, so we're going to talk about it uh, today. All right, so share this as you are coming in. Share this as you are coming in. And again, thank all of you for joining me on today. I'm going to read uh, a few scriptures. Uh, we're going to use a few scriptures today, but I'm going to launch from uh, this scripture in the book of Deuteronomy 18 and 10 through 14. Deuteronomy 18 and 10 through 14. Amen. Amen. It says here, and it says, this is what direction that God gave uh, the Israelites. Amen. He says in Deuteronomy 18, let's look at verse uh, uh, 10. It says, there shall not be found among you anyone who makes a son or daughter pass through the fire. So the Bible condemns child sacrifice. Amen. It condemns it. Let's go. Um, or one who practices witchcraft or soothsaying or one who interprets omens or a sorcerer or one who conjures spells or a medium or a spiritist or one who calls up the dead. Y'all see this? Hey, good morning, Sister Loretta. Yeah, come on. Thanks for joining us. Y'all see this? And it says that in verse 12, for all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord your God drives them out from before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord, your God. Y'all see this? For these nations which you shall dispossess, listen to soothsayers and diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for you. Y'all see this? All right, so we're going to talk about this in, in verse 10 because many, many are so used to, many are so used to, uh, bewitched. Some may have watched the show Bewitched. Amen. And Samantha gives, um, in prime time, the witch, you know, she, uh, parlays it or, uh, releases it as something that is innocent. 
and that it can be used for good or bad. But I'm telling you, if you have been involved with witchcraft or your family is involved with witchcraft, I'm, I'm not going to even talk about the smudging, uh, the burning of uh, uh, sage and all this ritualistic uh, foolishness. And some say, well, Apostle, I, you know, I want to burn sage. It smells good. It smells good. But listen, demons come with the burning of sage. And now, it smells good if you want to burn it, that's fine. But you better not do the rituals that is connected with sage burning. And I want to talk about that candle burning demon too. Some are burning candles. Some have set up altars or altars were set up as children. The Bible clearly speaks against it. And I'm going to tell you, the witchcraft in the United States is worse than many parts of the world because witchcraft many times is uh, secret, is unseen evil powers, and some dismiss it as a joke. Listen to me closely. The witches, <clears throat> the witches are not laughing. Amen? There was a lady by the name of Sybil Leak that began a campaign to educate Americans about witchcraft. She called herself about the, uh, the world's most renowned witch. And right now, currently today, there's about 8 million people or witches or warlock uh, involved all over the U.S., mainly in the U.S., at least 8 million involved in witchcraft. Amen? So I want to expose this devil today. Amen. Remember who I talked about, Sybil Leak. Amen. That are involved in witchcraft. And, but she wanted people to know about witchcraft. Listen, you don't want to know about it. The Bible tells us not to be involved in any of these things. And that it's an abomination. It's detestable to God. So every witch and every warlock is repentance time. Listen, you'll get nothing but bondage and demonic in, uh, infiltration for the involvement with witchcraft. That's all you will get. Amen. Because, listen, those witches and some are afraid of it. And if you're afraid of witchcraft, you've been involved in it or it's a relating spirit in your family or a familiar spirit that is involved in this witchcraft. And you have seen it and believe that it works. You need deliverance from it. Because how can you walk with this God that uh, the power of the resurrection uh, rests with, amen, through the death, burial, and resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ? How do you walk with a God and you decide you want to believe in witchcraft or you want to dabble in witchcraft because you want to know the future? I know, and there's some witches in the prophetic. Oh, I know y'all don't want to hear it today. Amen. Witchcraft is serious business to those who practice this. Witches are not always mean and ugly or, or old hags or flying around on brooms. Some witches are educated people, doctors, lawyers, teachers, and even some ministers are, are involved in it. All of these things that are said by even these were said by Sybil Leak. Uh, they true, but she represents witchcraft as desirable and an alternative to biblical religion. Repent. Every witch and warlock out there, you need to repent. And if you don't come to Jesus Christ and know him in the pardon of your sin, hell is hot. Hell is hot. You, you'll be right there with those demons that you have worshipped. Some involved in New Age and Wiccan. I, I'll teach and describe most of these things uh, uh, later on, but some are involved in that. But witchcraft, listen to me closely. It's filled with, and every time we have prayed for somebody or take them through deliverance, there's some sort of perversion associated with it. Now let me tell you this. What they don't tell you is that witchcraft is filled with paganism, sexual depravity, fear, hatred, power struggles, abandonment, rejection. Many that are struck with this, I'm going to have you to do a renunciation. 
but they're looking for power. They want to know their future. Amen. So they get involved with witchcraft innocently, but the Bible detests it. The Bible says it's an abomination. Amen. This is worst kind of demonic oppression to be involved in. Let me define to you what a witch is. A witch is a woman, listen to me closely, who uses sorcery, incantations, and magic to exercise supernatural control over things in the material world. Warlocks are the male counterparts of witches, and which, is, which this term is often used, so it applies to, to males. But listen to me closely. Enchantments, look what enchantments mean, incantations first. And the Bible condemns it. An incantation is a state of being under a spell, witchcraft, sorcery, or wizardry. And some are doing ancestral worship and worshiping the dead, saying that the, your relatives came to talk to you. And, you know, no, that's a demon. He wants you to open up. You'll be attacked in your sleep. You keep it up. You're going to find yourself under attack in your dreams. It is called necromancy. It's the worship of the dead. This is very prominent with those who have been involved in Catholicism. Praying to the dead saints. You better pray to Jesus and pray in Jesus' name. You'll get no breakthrough. You'll get no blessing from worshiping the dead. Amen. Divination means to try to see into the future by the source of the occult. The occult means what? The secret things. Okay? Yet the Bible says that there should be in Numbers 23 and 23. Let me go over there to Numbers. Numbers 23 and 23, the Bible says here. Amen. Yeah, Mormonism and all of that is associated in that. Dark covenants, witchcraft. Uh, I've, I've got to take that topic. Thank you for sharing that, Sister Kathy. But let's look at Dev uh, let's look at Numbers chapter 23. Numbers chapter 23 and verse 23. Let's look at it. Numbers chapter 23 and verse 23. It's witchcraft. Just say to yourself, it's witchcraft. Say, I refuse the witchcraft. And it's not more powerful than God. If you've been involved with it, then it's deliverance time. Amen? If your family's been involved with it, then it's deliverance time. Amen? The Bible says in Numbers 23 and 23 that for there is no sorcery against Jacob nor any divination. Remember, divination is associated with being under a spell. Bewitchment is the same thing. To bewitch means to cast a spell over or to attract as if a power by witchcraft or to enchant or fascinate. Again, bewitch means to cast a spell over, to attract is, as if a power by witchcraft, enchant or fascinate. The Bible says it in verse 23. There's uh, Numbers 23, 23, for there's no sorcery against Jacob, nor any divination against Israel. It must be said of Jacob and of Israel what God has done. No sorcery, no spells, no divination, seeing into the future. God has your future in his hands. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, for the plans or the thoughts he has towards you are what? Good thoughts. His thought, uh, his plans for you are good plans. His thoughts towards you are good thoughts. And he gives you a hope and an expected end. Why are you going to the cult? Think about what happened to the occult. Think about what happened to Saul. In the book of Samuel chapter 28, Saul goes and seeks out a witch. They call up a spirit, a omen. And guess what? Saul dies in the process. Are y'all there? Are y'all there? Satan is behind the occult and witchcraft. Amen. And God forbids us to have anything to do with it. Some are still fascinated by horoscopes. 
Some have gone to fortune tellers. Some are calling psychic hotlines. Listen, stop it. It's foolishness. You open yourself to a familiar spirit. And we're going to deal with it today. A related spirit, a familiar spirit associated with witchcraft. So Satan is no less dangerous than he was then. Some are fascinated by witchcraft. Uh, cults altered their interests from a desire. Listen to me closely. People connect with this because it is fleshy and because they have a desire to know their future. Why don't you go to a prophet or go and hear the word of the Lord? Connect with the church to hear God's plan of future for you in the prophetic. Amen. God desires for us to know what's to come, but the information that Satan offers is likely distorted or false, and it is witchcraft. You have to trust the guidance of the Holy Spirit and know that you don't need to turn to the occult for faulty information. Right now, people are leaving the Christian church and leaving the faith and going to occults. Something is wrong with that. You know why? Because our churches are dry, dead, religious, controlling, manipulating, and many are operating in witchcraft. Witchcraft is also referred to as a work of the flesh. Let's go to Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. I want to drive this home. And then I'm going to share with you what God has to say about witches or warlocks. Yeah, amen. Some are like the uh, Galatians. They've been bewitched. And, and the, the Bible says, even in there, that old foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus Christ was clearly portrayed among you as crucified? Some say that they believe that Jesus Christ died. Yeah, a very harsh death. Believe in the resurrection, the death, burial, and resurrection of ascension of a Jesus Christ. Those that are listening to me today, you're practicing witchcraft. Listen, you're walking around on death row. It's time to come to Jesus. It's time to give it up. And if you're a believer and you're dabbling in it and you refuse to leave it, shame on you. You need the deliverance. Amen. Let's look at. Let's look at what God had to say about it. Where was I saying? I went to Galatians chapter 3. Let's go, yeah, Galatians chapter 5. Yeah, devil, you won't distort my thoughts. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Galatians chapter 5 and verse 19. Look what it says. Galatians 5 and 19. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentious jealousies of out, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, revelries. All of this happens within witchcraft and satanic rituals. Are y'all there? Amen. Some think of witchcraft is just you sold yourself uh, to the devil. But listen, modern witches and warlocks, they don't acknowledge their ties to Satanism. But witchcraft and satanic worship is in fact inseparable. Amen? Along with satanic rituals. The biblical term that is used is sorcerer. So really they're interchangeable. So the Hebrew word is uh, kashaf. It's K-A-S-H-A-P-H. -A yeah, the Hebrew term is kashaf. K-A-S-H-A-P-H. -A -A it means to carry the ideals, listen to me closely, the ideals of incantations, spells, and magic formulas. Yeah, so the, the New Testament word for that is, uh, for witchcraft, is pharmakia, from which we get the word pharmacist. So listen, 
witches and sorcerers often use drugs and medicines and potions, mix potions, drink them to alter the mind. Are y'all listening to me? Are y'all there? So many witches and warlocks get themselves involved in drug-induced stupors. Amen? Let's talk about the nature of witchcraft. Witches, yeah, I know the devil doesn't want me to share this with you, and we're going to pray in a minute. Witches operate in groups of 13 known as covens. A coven normally consists of witches, six witches and six warlocks and a priest. I nullify every dark covenant in Jesus' name that has been set against you. Some of your names are written on altars. Mm -hmm. Your family names, let them be nullified. Let them catch fire. Let the blood of Jesus erase and break every soul tie for every demonic altar. Amen? Yeah, it's the devil, Sister Patricia. It's the devil. I bind the equipment devils in the name of Jesus. And I declare that they loose these phone lines in the name of Jesus. He don't want me to share about the witchcraft. Remember, they consist of 13. So it's a priest, six witches, six warlocks. And many a times they get in the nude. They do human sacrifices. They do deviant sex acts with animals or human sacrifice. They remove their clothes in a ritual of ceremony and cleansing. Some, and they stand in the nude, need deliverance from that. They chant, they sing, they do candle burning, read occult books. And some, let me share these books that some of them are using. The Book of Shadows, the Dale Lorenz book, it's a magic book, very expensive. It's called De La Renz. Shadow, the Book of Shadows, and a, the, it's an ancient handbook on witchcraft that includes practices for centuries by witches. So the similarities of witchcraft rituals to those of Christian worship are striking because witches practice a form of back, baptism. They mock the baptism. They baptize the people with fire and water. So the priest dips their hand in fire, puts it in water, and then anoints them. Some need deliverance from that. It's a mockery against the baptism of Jesus Christ. And they anoint the head and they pray a prayer in the name of Satan. Even wine is passed around and drunk which is a false communion ceremony. How widespread is witchcraft? Let me show you. I said early, there's an estimate of 8 million. And that's an estimate. That's not um, etched in stone. That's an estimate. Okay? But the witchcraft in the U.S. is, 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 is so... Uh, powerful because it's an unseen evil, evil power is hidden. So many don't know about it. They will say, oh, no, there's no problem with witchcraft. We can't see it. So it ain't nothing. Just like demons. If demons don't manifest, they said, oh, it's no problem with demons here. It doesn't mean that he's not there. Amen. Witchcraft is growing rapidly. Occult bookstores. The latest is they've said they cite record sales of handbooks on witchcraft. Well-known entertainers, musicians, uh, Black Sabbath, rock group, uh, you know, all of these people are connected with satanic rituals. Housewives, mothers, fathers, elementary school teachers. So witchcraft has become popular of many of our nation's college campuses. Why do you think that when many kids go off to college, you better pray for them. They come back saying they don't believe in God no more because they've exposed them to a witch or the occult and saying there is no God. This is a representative of God. Some need to repent for seeking the supernatural outside of the will of God and through witchcraft. Are y'all there? 
So some of this is sanctioned by college organizations. I know the devil is mad. He don't want me to share it with you. In ancient witchcraft, an important aspect of becoming a witch was entering into a blood pact with the devil. That needs to be renounced. So basically, you signing over your power, exclusive power to Satan. Some are removing or cutting off fingers or limbs because they say it gives more power. It's an ultimate sacrifice. Some are killing animals and, and drinking blood. Are y'all listening to me? The blood of animals. Amen. Some are initiating runaways and to children into uh, occults because they need provision, they need food, they need various things. Are y'all listening to me? And they, they are amazed by supernatural power that's connected with the devil himself. The Bible condemns it. And I'm going to read some scriptures to you, and then we're going to pray. But witchcraft is the worst kind of religion. It honors Satan, and it puts people in bondage, and it's a system of fear, depravity, and bloodshed. It's what I would call a spiritual wasteland. Uh, that many people have sold their soul or yielded completely to the devil or demonic power. Some in our bloodlines, some in our families have yielded to this witchcraft. And some, although we are in Christ, need the deliverance from the witchcraft. There is a danger in witchcraft. You shouldn't be dabbling in such a thing. It's not a joke. Even if you know someone involved, pray for their deliverance. Pray that they'll come and get deliverance. And this can only be solved through deliverance. Are y'all there? Let me read these scriptures to y'all that I got. Leviticus, let's go to, let, let me go back to uh, Deuteronomy 18. But I want to go to Leviticus 20. I mean, Leviticus 19 and 31. Leviticus 19 and 31. Let me read this to you. Cause some are, are shaking in their boots and they are afraid of witches and warlocks or saying that this witch is after me. They're running from the devil. Some are contemplating thoughts of suicide. I'm telling you it's over today. And if you have made that confession and repented and came to Jesus Christ, then it's deliverance time. Amen. It just doesn't go away. So some have this and all, oh, yeah, come on to Jesus is okay. Listen, your salvation has to be worked out. And many things you need deliverance from. All right? Let's go to Leviticus. Leviticus 19. Let me read these scriptures. Leviticus 19. God's been dealing with me about this for quite some time. And I need to release it to you today. Leviticus 19 and 31. Leviticus 19 and 31, the Bible says to give no regards to mediums or familiar spirits. Do not seek after them to be defied, defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. So when we seek out psychics or mediums or familiar, these are familiar spirits, the Bible says do not be defiled by them. Now, and some going to take this harsh. Are you going to pray for a witch when they're doing witchcraft against you? Listen to me closely. Witchcraft works when it has legal right. And many a times it's legal right that you have given over to them from dabbling in the witchcraft or your parents have or ancestors, grandmother, grandfather, and you haven't been through deliverance for it. Satan operates through legal right. That's what that means. That means he has a legal right to bound you. Because of this witchcraft, the dirty hands in the family line. Leviticus 20 and 27. Look, it says a man or a woman who is a medium or who has familiar spirits shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. This is what the word of God says. In Exodus 22 and 18, it says, 
that you should not permit a sorcerer or sorceress to live. Some is going to say that, oh, you know, oh, Brother Kevin, that's harsh. This is what the Bible says. And why are you so caught up in believing that that witchcraft works? Why? What are you afraid of? Aren't you in Christ? Yield and get deliverance. Pride is one of the biggest things to keep you from getting the deliverance. And some are still dabbling in it. The witchcraft. Let me go back to my scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 18 and 10. It says, there should not be found among you anyone who makes a son or daughter pass through the fire or one who practices witchcraft or a soothsayer or one who interprets omens. One who interprets omen. Let me share with you what an omen is. An omen is when they see a sign of an event happening, they believe it's a sign of something to come. And some refer to it as bad omens. The Bible condemns it. Look what it says. One who interprets omen or a sorcerer. The omen associated with a sorcerer. Or one who conjures spells, or a medium, or a spiritist, or one who calls up the dead. You see what happened to Saul. For all who do these things are an abomination to the Lord. The Bible talks about this as being detestable. An abomination means it's detestable. God hates it. And that he drives them out. And because of these abominations of the Lord your God, he drives them out before you. You shall be blameless before the Lord your God. For these nations which you dispossess, listen to soothsayers and diviners. But as for you, the Lord your God has not appointed such for you. Y'all see this? We're getting ready to pray. Some... I want you to repeat this after me and I'm going to go slow. And it's deliverance time. From this witchcraft. Some are feeling stuck. Some have, some have misfortune. Some have delay. And something is, some of us is one thing after another. It's a curse. From this involvement with witchcraft. And even today as you are listening to me, if you have not been involved, someone in your family may have been involved. Are you, are you feeling heavy? Are you suicidal? Because of the child sacrifices that have been done? Some may have had an abortion. Well, it's the, it's the, it's the worship to Molech and Chemosh. And it's a curse that comes with it. Deuteronomy 27, 25. Leviticus 18 and 21. Go look at it for yourself. The Bible condemns all of these practices. And it's time to get free from it. If it's in your bloodline or it's a familiar spirit, today is the day that it leaves. Amen? The devil is a liar. So repeat this after me. Get to your, get in front of this screen and I want you to repeat this after me. Some may need paper towels. Anoint yourself. And get in front of this screen. I'm going to pray. The devil is a liar. This bondage must be broken. Amen. This witchcraft must be destroyed. Some have been involved in Catholicism, various things. I'm going to come and teach about it. And you need to get the deliverance from it. Some, you're bound by marine spirits. And you need the deliverance from it. When you dabble in witchcraft, you open yourself to marine spirits. So repeat this after me. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He hung, died, and bled for me. And on the third day, and well, he was put in a grave, and on the third day, he was raised from the dead. That same power of the resurrection that raised Jesus from the dead shall give life to my mortal body. Say, I believe in Jesus. He is the Son of God. 
He is the Savior and my Master. And I come before Him today. And I acknowledge every sin, known and unknown. And I forgive all those who have hurt me, wounded me, living or dead, family members, employers, friends, whoever they are, spouses, ex-spouses, say, I forgive them. I release them. Yeah, say, I release them today. I forgive them. And I renounce unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, hatred, self-hatred, procrastination, self-sabotage, and unloving spirits in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive the love of the Father and deliverance and healing and wholeness on today in Jesus' name. And say, Lord, today I come out of agreement in the name of Jesus and I rebuke all evil curses associated with witchcraft, spells, jinxes, incantations, uh, seeking out psychics. Come on, let's go. Say, I renounce and come out of agreement with divination, incantations on my mother or father's side back to 60 generations. Say, I break their power. I break the curses in the name of Jesus. And I loose myself and my children from any and all evil curses, inherited curses from witchcraft, curses from others, curses from words spoken. Say, I renounce them in the name of Jesus. Words spoken by parents, friends, relatives. Say, I renounce those word curses and that I fall completely out of agreement with witchcraft, voodoo assignments, curses carried down from my ancestors and curses stemming from my culture. Say, I break them and I break the power in Jesus' name of all charms, hexes, spells, psychic powers, bewitchments, witchcraft, sorcery, incantations, and demonic importations or assignments that have been placed upon me or my family. Come on, let's go. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. Or my family line from any person or persons living or dead. And I renounce occultic and psychic sources, clairvoyance, soothsaying, Ouija boards, come on, tarot card readings, palmistry, say I renounce it, and all satanic rituals in the name of Jesus, and say I remove my name from every demonic altar in the name of Jesus. I erase my name with the blood of Jesus, and I snatch any legal right with the blood of Jesus. I snatch it from Satan. And, and I renounce familiar spirits assigned to me by Satan at birth that is to lead me astray due to my own sins or the sins of my ancestors. Say, I come out of agreement with ancestral worship, perversion, fear, sexual depravity. Come on, let's go. Rejection, abandonment, fear of what others think. Say, I renounce it in the name of Jesus. And say, I rebuke all connected and related spirits. And I command all related spirits of witchcraft. Say, I command them to leave me now in Jesus' name. And any curses associated with witchcraft that has caused me personal problems, I command the demons. Repeat this after me. I command the demons 
that activate those curses to leave me now in Jesus name. Say, Lord, today I break all psychic bondage and I renounce every evil bondage and lose myself. Come on. And my children from psychic powers of physical and mental illness that has been placed upon my family line through iniquity and transgressions all the way back to the fourth generation from involvement with witchcraft. Say, I command all fears, all phobias, and all thoughts of suicide and self-mutilation. Say, leave me now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And say, I come out of agreement with unholy soul ties from former lovers. And I renounce the succubus and incubus spirits that attack me through dreams. And I come out of agreement with marine alliances in Jesus' name that have come to seduce me from the involvement with witchcraft in Jesus' name. Say, let the strongholds be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold, every vain imagination, let it be destroyed. Say, I renounce pride. Come on. I renounce pride. I renounce shame, guilt, and condemnation. And say, from this day on, Every witch and every warlock that's been assigned to me through the bloodline, I release the judgment of God. Because the Bible says, suffer not the sorceress to live. And that whether it be a man or woman, they practice sorcery or spiritism or mediums or omens, or they practice these things, the Bible says that they should be stoned to death. Say So say this, let the stones through the power of the Holy Ghost be released to destroy them. Be destroyed. No longer. Say no longer will you have access to me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say no longer. Will you have access against me? And there should be no spells or enchantment or divination against me or my family. In Jesus' name. Say all the curses associated with witchcraft are broken. And say, Lord, I repent for giving regards to mediums and familiar spirits. And seeking out of them, seeking after them, I renounce the defilement in Jesus' name. Say, I renounce the defilement in Jesus' name. And the Bible says that every man and woman who is a medium or has familiar spirits shall surely be put to death. Let them be put to death in the name of Jesus. Stone them with stones their blood shall be upon them in jesus name in jesus name amen now let me pray i want you to just relax and take a few deep breaths let's pray and so father god in the name of jesus i break every spell we give you glory for the deliverance for the healing in jesus name all glory and honor goes to you and we thank you for your precious son, Jesus. Oh, my God, in that shed blood. Devil, we point you to the cross in that shed blood. And today, I declare the finger of God is released. That shall drive out devils in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit of rejection. Some need to say this. Say, Lord, 
I renounce and come out of agreement from seeking after the supernatural outside of God's will. Say, I renounce it. I repent of it in the name of Jesus. Now, let me go on back to prayer. Amen. Say, I renounce seeking the supernatural outside of the will of God. Amen. Say, Lord, forgive me. Say, it's over. So, Father God, I command now every familiar spirit, as your finger is released, the finger of God, let it be released, the finger of God, let it be released, that shall drive out devils. And the Bible says that the spirit of God shall come upon you. I declare the anointing is released that shall break every yoke of bondage in your life. Break every yoke of bondage in the name of Jesus. And I command every spirit of unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, hatred, come on, lethargy, tiredness from witchcraft, come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. And every spirit associated with spells, hexes, jinxes, come on, let them break now in the name of Jesus. Let them break, break. And all spirits associated with omens and even the occult and the familiar spirits and spirits associated with psychics, psychic readings, clairvoyance, soothsaying, I command it now by the authority of Jesus' name to come out of you, come out of the hearts, Come out of the mind, the spirit, the back of the mind, the optical lobe, the frontal lobe. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of the bowels, every infirmity, every sickness or disease associated with witchcraft and works of the flesh, I command it to come out in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. Some need to relax, take deep breaths and let them go. Go. In the name of Jesus. And I command all spirits associated with palmistry uh, in Jesus' name, uh, calling psychics. I break that diabolical allegiance and power over you. And I command it in Jesus' name to come out in the name of Jesus. Go now in Jesus' name. And every curse, let it be broken associated with witchcraft. Inherited curses, let them break now. In the name of Jesus, let them break in Jesus say all spirits associated with charms, voodoo, hoodoo assignments, satanic rituals. Say, I renounce every satanic ritual and all forms of witchcraft. Say, I renounce it. I come out of agreement with it. Now let it go. Every familiar spirit come out associated with satanic rituals, sorcery, incantations, impartations, the worship to the dead, spirits of death, self-mutilation. Come on, all the way out. Suicide. Let it go. Come out in the name of Jesus. Hopelessness, defeatism, loneliness, despair. Come on, gluttony. Come on, eating disorder. Let it come out. A deep breath. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go. Depression, anxiety, fears, phobias, mental illness, double-mindedness, schizophrenia. I command all of you, link yourselves together and come out of them. Now, come out in Jesus' name. Go in the name of Jesus. The blood is against you. And we snatch any legal right that Satan thinks he has through the authority of the blood of Jesus, the word and the spirit in Jesus' name. I command all evil Spirits associated with darkness in the name of Jesus. I command them all darkness associated with any altar or witch coven in the name of Jesus. I nullify the witch covens with the blood of Jesus. Let them be destroyed with the blood. Let them catch fire through the Holy Ghost for our God is a consuming fire. Burn up these witch covens and satanic altars and rituals in the name of Jesus. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And I declare repentance. Come to every warlock or witch that is listening. Repentance come unto you. Salvation come unto your soul in the name of Jesus. And all believers that didn't know about it and that were involved or the family members involved in witchcraft, I break the legal right and the strong code in the name of Jesus. Let it break 
in the name of Jesus and let every familiar spirit come out of you in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go. Loose them and let them go. Demonic harassment, ringing in the ears. Come on, all the way out, out of the inner ear, the middle ear. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Out of the legs, out of the feet. Some have uh, a burning of the feet uh, from the involvement of witchcraft. Burning of the feet, feet going numb when you try to stand up or um, elicit pains. I command it in the name of Jesus to come out. If it's gout or diabetes, repent for unforgiveness. Let it come out, out of the feet. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. And all other spirits associated with witchcraft, I command them by the authority of Jesus' name to go. In Jesus' name. Everything that you've been yoked with, bitterness, destruction, self-hatred, unloving spirits, anger, Malice, rage, egotism, pride. Let them come out. Come on, all the way out. Come out in the name of Jesus. And there is a spirit associated with mutilation, revenge, hurt, witchcraft, possessiveness, dominance. Come on, in Jezebel, let them come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Fighting, criticism, anxiety, dread, apprehension, timidness. Let them come out. Come out in Jesus' name. And all spirits of insecurity, self-pity, timidness, shyness, ineptness, jealousy, rejection, isolationism, escapism, self-rejection, fear of what others think. Let them come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go. Passivity. Being in a funk. Misfortune. This delay. Come on. Mishap. Addictions of any kind to nicotine, alcohol drugs. I command that spirit of pharmacia to come out of you in the name of Jesus. All the way out. Go out of the mouth. I curse the desire of nicotine in the name of Jesus. And uh, over excessiveness of use of alcohol. Let it come out. Come out addiction in the name of Jesus. Go. And I break the curse associated with witchcraft and pharmacia spirits in the name of Jesus. All medication by magic. I command it now to come out in the name of Jesus. Come on, stoicism, sleepiness, alcohol. Come on, withdrawal. Let it go. Go in the name of Jesus. Laziness, fear of disapproval, retaliation, fear of man, restlessness, insomnia, apnea, not able to sleep. Come on, let it come out. Every owl spirit, come out. No longer will you be up in the night. I, I declare sweet sleep fall on you. And when you lie down to sleep, sweet sleep come upon you in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. And all anxiety and fear is destroyed in the name of Jesus. All aspects of mental illness, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Confusion of the mind, chaos, forgetfulness, procrastination, incoherence, let it come out. Come out in Jesus' name. Paranoia, distrust, come on, all the way out. Go. Self-deception, pride, come on. I break the head of Leviathan into pieces, and I command it to come out. Marine spirits, marine alliances, mind-binding spirits, fear of failure, occult spirits, spiritism spirits, fear of man, come on, all the way out. Come out. In the name of Jesus, go. In the name of Jesus, false responsibility, false compassion, religious spirits, come on, false doctrines, legalism, heresy, come on, all the way out, come out. In the name of Jesus, lying spirits, spirits of error, judgmental spirits, arrogance, nervousness, compulsive eating, come on, frustration, self-hatred, self-condemnation, let it come out, obesity, Come out in the name of Jesus. And unworthiness, embarrassment, condemnation, lust, fantasy lust, let it come out. Come out in the name of Jesus. And all spirits connected with death wishes, fatigue, weariness, sorrow, heartbreak, unresolved grief, I command you now to come out in the name of Jesus. Go in the name of Jesus. And I release shalom over you. I release peace, shalom, 
blessing and favor. And Lord, I thank you that every place that demons have left, I pray that the Holy Spirit would go there and build them up. Build them up in the name of Jesus. Thank you for sweeping the house clean and for the deliverance from witchcraft. Even on our mother or father's side, thank you for the deliverance and breaking those curses in the lives of your precious sons and daughters that are listening. I thank you for their healing and deliverance. Be whole in my body and spirit in the name of Jesus. And I declare, according to Luke 10 and 19, you've given them power to tread over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing he should do to them shall hurt them. I bind up the spirits of fear and backlash. I cancel it. You should not be afraid. I cancel it in Jesus' name. And I declare that is judged by the word. I command your freedom. And who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Son has set you free through that blood. The blood of Jesus. Now Lord, soak your precious sons and daughters in the blood of Jesus. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Soak them in the blood of Jesus. Soak them in the blood of Jesus. Soak them in the blood of Jesus. Father, soak them in the blood of Jesus. Soak your precious sons and daughters in the blood of Jesus. Soak them in the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, we love you, and bless you, and praise you for it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Some that have done this deliverance, or if you know somebody, refer them to us. But it's some today that need to receive salvation. And if you want to come to Jesus Christ, I want you to say this. And we have to conclude. I know we've been on here a while, but I want you to repeat these words. Say, Father God, I know I'm a sinner. I need a savior. I acknowledge every sin and every shortcoming. I ask you to accept me, deliver me, set me free and forgive me. Now today, Lord, I welcome the power of the Holy Spirit to regenerate my spirit, and to deliver me. And today I desire, through my confession, that Jesus is Lord and should be master over my life. And I desire to receive Jesus by faith. Jesus, I welcome you into my heart. And I thank you for forgiveness as I've acknowledged every sin known and unknown. And I ask you for mercy and to welcome me into the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus, I desire to come into the kingdom. Say that. I desire to come into the kingdom. Say no longer will I live for the enemy. I'm in Christ. It's over. I come to you in Jesus' name. Thank you for receiving me in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer or made that confession, I want you to email us at info at touchofthemasterhmi.org so that we can give you some more information and to disciple and train you and help you work, walk this out. You're in Christ now. Receive it. You're in Christ. Those who are already in Christ, God bless you. I pray that you are blessed by the ministry. If you want to sow, Go to touchofthemasterhmi.org. So as the Lord directs you. If you are benefiting from the ministry and blessed by the ministry. So, if not, amen. Amen. But if the ministry is a blessing to you, so, amen. We don't beg anybody. We don't uh, uh, attack anybody. Make them feel burdened. It's a waste of time. Enjoy your freedom. Stay free. Be encouraged. Be blessed. God bless all of you, and thank you for tuning in today. Shalom.